Fellas, 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 what is going on today, fellas? So, today's video, we are going to be turning Steph Curry into a D Rose type of player, okay? So, you guys saw my last video where um I did it with Shaq. I gave him a three point shot and I changed his release, and he was just going crazy. Like, I literally just gave him 99 everything. He was shooting threes, he was doing crazy dunks, all that. Today, we're gonna be doing that with Steph Curry. By the way, guys, if you like, if you want to see more videos like this where I go on a certain player and give them certain boosts and then play with them, play with them in game, let me know like what players you want to see and exactly how you want me to change them. Just let me know in the comments right now so I can get around to those too. Because I think these videos are very fun and I think you guys enjoy them too. So let's get into it, man. We're gonna change everything about this man, bro. We're literally just gonna put all his attributes up to to um what's what's it called 99 edit the whole cell or the whole row but it here they, in 2k they call it the cell i'm editing the entire row everything is 99 so really we just wanted to be able to dunk besides the morale somebody was in my, in my comments saying that i said the word morale wrong but that's the right way to say it <laughs> I, I, I like i know how to say words and i looked it up too just to make sure but i already knew so i was right about that by the way but that's that's a uh, that's not relevant here let's move over to the badges so we're or the tendencies first we got to bump up the tendencies we got to make sure we put his his what's it called his tendency up to 100 or 99 actually for the uh contact dunk because that's what's going to trigger those crazy crazy dunks so we got to make sure we put that up to a 99 so let's just make sure i mean i started off with the one that's zero okay to 100 actually because the tendencies go up to 100 i forgot about that so let's look at contact dunk and just make sure it's at 100 all right well his driving dunk tendency is at 100 i don't know if contact dunk is one his standing dunk is at 100 his driving dunk is at 100 i can't find contact dunk for some reason so uh we're just gonna leave it like that i'm sure it's somewhere if that even is a tendency i, I thought it was though but maybe not maybe i'm wrong but I mean, it doesn't really matter. He's still gonna be doing crazy stuff. We put the driving dunk all the way up to 100. As you can see, we did turn him into a 99 overall already. So yeah, I mean, we did we did bump all his attributes up to 99. It makes sense. So let's move over to the durability. Not not much we want to change here at all. The badges. This is where we want to give him every Hall of Fame badge. So we're just gonna bump everything up to Hall of Fame. I'm gonna take off Steady Shooter though because we don't like Steady Shooter. Steady Shooter is whack. No steady shooter on that man. Funny man. All right. So, yeah, we, he's got every Hall of Fame badge. He's got 99.3. I mean, he already had 99.3, but 99 dunking and all that. Um, and then we need to switch over to... Oh, we got to give him every hot zone, too. Almost forgot about that. He's not. I'm not going to be shooting much with him, I don't think. Maybe a little bit. But we, for the most part, we want to see what his dunks are like. So we want to make sure he has hot zones in the paint, too. So we're just going to... Let me see we're gonna edit that and we're just gonna give him hot zones everywhere right and then we're gonna switch over to vitals uh we don't really care for, for anything around here and we're back at the attributes so yeah that's everything he's got 99 everything we take a look at him his attributes over here literally 99 everything see the driving dunk is 99 and everything is 99 literally so besides the durability because i didn't change that because it's not going to be relevant here if we go to his badges he's got every finishing badge hall of fame every shooting badge hall of fame every playmaking and every defensive rebounding so he's going to be absolutely juiced okay so let's take a look at um oh yeah he does have all the hot zones like, like i said right there guys you might have noticed in the in the last clip that i had his height at seven seven so originally I was going to make him 7'7", seven, seven, but I decided I didn't want to go through with that for this video. And I may just save like me editing the height for another player instead. So we're just going to leave Steph Curry at 6'3 for now for this video. Obviously all his attributes here are 99. So, you know, you guys already saw me upgrade all his attributes and his badges and stuff. So I'm just going to show you me changing up his dunk animations and his signature because that's what we got to do. We need to edit Steph and we need to give him different dunk packages because the ones he has right now are not going to suffice if we're really trying to go crazy, right? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to, let's go to body. Can I change his wingspan? I don't think I can. I was going to up his wingspan, but I don't think it lets me. 
we're just gonna change his signature we're gonna go to signature and his release we're gonna keep that there jump shooting we're not gonna change anything to the jump shooting his go-to dunk package what i want to do i just want to import derrick rose's stuff so i'm probably gonna like just find out exactly what d rose got and then just apply the same one all right so i'm looking at it here and d rose's go-to dunk is back scratchers off too so let's see if uh if i can find that here because sometimes it wasn't it wasn't letting me do all the dunk the dunks before i mean not the dunks but the the uh the release for Shaq. look at this look at steph curry like simulating these dunks imagine seeing him doing this in game bro he's just going crazy but this is not the right one here it is this is the right one back scratchers off too d rose's second dunk package is straight arm tomahawks so let's find that straight arm tomahawks here it is oof oof okay and then we got clutch reverses off one we're literally just copying it as it says here on the website clutch reverses off one oof how does clutch reverses off two look okay we're gonna just leave it like that um back scratchers off one let's see back scratchers off one where is that at bro this man is over here doing some fake stuff bro here it is back scratchers off one and then we got basic one handers off one okay that's a basic dunk there's nothing crazy uh hangs off one let's see hangs off one okay i mean that's a basic dunk too still still steph would never do that in in a game back scratching rim hangs let me see i might switch out some of these for some better dunks but let me see back scratching rim hangs here it is Oof. okay yeah yeah that one's crazy that one's crazy we got quick drop in back scratchers well i don't know what that is we'll have to find out right now Quick drop in back off scratchers. Here it is. Oh, okay. Man, okay, yeah, we're definitely keeping that. And then we got baseline reverses off one. Let's find that. Baseline reverses off one. Is it? Oh, that's baseline clutch reverses. Hmm, I, I know this dunk. Oh, yeah, those, that's a good dunk. I love when D-Rose triggers that dunk. Windmill baseline reverses. Yeah, I got to add some windmills in there and like some, some more tomahawks, I feel like. Windmill. No, that's windmill reverses. We need windmill baseline reverses. Yeah, that one, the good dunk. Ooh, imagine Steph doing that in game, bro. Bro, if Steph was doing dunks like this, bro, they would, he would never lose a game. Dunk pack 11 is side windmills. And then the, the last three... The last three here on the website, here's four in the game, but on the website, it only says three. I mean, maybe I'll have to scroll down a little bit. Oh no, it only says there's three more spots on the website. But I mean, they just say none, so I can just put whatever I want. But we're gonna put side wind, uh, windmills for this one. I don't know how this works. If anybody knows how this works, like, does he do the dunk? Well, obviously the go-to dunk package would be like the number one, right? But is it like, most likely to do the ones that are in order like so dunk package number two is more likely to trigger than three and then four and then five like if anyone knows how that works just let me know in the comments because if that's the case then i would i would like to switch some of these around to make sure that i'm doing some of the really good ones like more frequently you know but side windmills i'll take that dunk package number 11 we want to get some windmills in there and just in case that um the dunks work the way that i just explained i kind of want to put some of those higher ones like or some of these like really good dunks up higher I'm trying to see what some of these dunks are Let me see windmill reverse that's crazy switcheroos that's a good dunk windmill off one leaning windmills oof front windmills oof nah I got nah bro cradle dunks they got the Kobe dunk, DeMar DeRozan, Clyde Drexler, James Harden, Michael Jordan, 
Zach Levine. Russell Westbrook. Oh, no. Nah, I, got, I got to add Westbrook's in there. Westbrook's don't be crazy. We're, we're adding that right there. I want to switch some of these. So, back scratchers off two. No. Yeah, we're going to switch out the go-to dunk package from back scratchers off two. And we're going to give him um, like a crazy, crazy dunk. Windmill reverses. We're giving him windmill reverses. And we want to give him like some 360 dunks in here too. So straight arc, straight arm tomahawks is gonna get changed to one of these 360 kind of things. Let me see. I want to give him a. I want to give him the cradle one too. Athletic 360s. Dunk package number three. We're gonna give him the the cradle dunk. Oof, that is crazy, bro. We're gonna keep the layup package as his own because he has a really good layup package. And I think the rest, we'll just add in like the, the ones that I just took off. We'll add those in back here. So the back scratchers off too, right? And then um, just the other ones, if I can find them, that is. Here it is. Straight Art Tomahawks, we're gonna add that back. Boom. And dunk package number 15. We can just put whatever we want, really. So I'm going to find one that I like. That one is fine, Uber Athletic Tomahawks. Oh, it doesn't say the full name, it's too long. But maybe I'll do another one, let's see. We got some 360s in here. We got some windmills. Uh, I think I think another Tomahawk would be nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that one, Uber Athletic Tomahawks off, oh, whatever that says. So yeah, there he is. Steph Curry's got the crazy dunk packages. This is gonna be very interesting to see how he performs these man it's gonna be very interesting so we're not gonna switch up his pose game at all his ball handling that's gonna stay the same because it's Steph and all this signature stuff is gonna stay the same we're just gonna going to save um, keep changes in return and now Steph Curry's got crazy dunk packages and he has 99 everything and we're about to go bananas with him in game so this is the Golden State Warriors, the regular Golden State Warriors, so I have to use them in game. I'm still gonna go up against like a crazy all-time team though when we play it, like I did last time. All right guys, so as you can see, we're here in the Warriors and Steph Curry is a 99 overall. We are gonna go up against the all-time probably Celtics because the Celtics are good. And so I wanna give myself a little bit of a challenge here. So we're gonna use the Warriors, the current Warriors and go up against the all-time Celtics. Let's see what we can get done. All right, starting off the game, Steph Curry all the way for the windmill dunk. Starting off the game, bro, we had a nice steal, bro, and he's going crazy like that. Bro, that's not, no. Steph Curry doing windmills? No, 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 this is going to be a very interesting game. Very interesting game. Hold on, send it back to Steph, man. Throw another one down. Excuse me. When have you seen it before, bro? Show me one video clip of Steph Curry doing this. This man. Oh my gosh, bro. This is this is going to be a crazy video. If we're starting off the first two possessions and he's doing dunks like that. Oh, oh I thought he got the rebound. It's okay. Send it to Steph. We're about to dunk on whoever's in the paint. Bill Russell and all. Oh, he won! Oh, they called the charge. They called the charge, bruh. Wow, they violated. Because he, he literally just dunked on the whole squad, bro. They're just jealous, bro. The refs are just jealous. That's as simple as that. Oh, yeah, out of bounds. Thank you. Yeah, you see, now now they're, they're compensating me because they know that last call was some BS. So they're like, okay, well, we got to compensate him now. Oh, yeah, take it right past Bob Cousy. Oh, okay. I got triggered into a layup animation and I got blocked. It's okay. It's okay. I really thought he was about to throw it down, though. Good, good um, defense, Draymond. I can't even talk. Send it to Steph Curry, bro. And just push it, man. All the way. Okay, I'll take the layup. Okay, maybe not. He missed it. All right, bro. So I do have fatigue completely off. So he's going to have unlimited energy. And he's going to throw, throw it down on Bill Russell. I thought it was going to bounce off. Let's take a look at the instant replay. Wow, look at that, bruh. That's hold on. First off, just just look at this right here, man. We're talking about Bill Russell right here, bruh. Bill Russell, this man 11 rings. 
a great defender, the great defender that he was, and 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 he's getting dunked on by Steph Curry, who who doesn't even dunk, not even once per game. And look at that, bro. Went up, hit the backboard, and just bounced in. Bruh. Bruh. We, 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 we might need to screenshot this moment for the thumbnail. How do I get rid of this circle? I might have to screenshot that, bruh. Hold on. Let me get a good angle. This might be a, a nice little screenshot right here, bro. How's this right here? Is this a good angle for that screenshot? For that screenshot? Let's take a screenshot right there. I think that's a good one. Or we can maybe zoom in a little bit. We can zoom in just a little bit. I don't know if that's that that's a decent one because you can see Bill Russell's face there too, but you can't really see Steph. I mean, you can see his name on his jersey. I don't know, man. We're gonna find a good moment though. Best believe. All right, Steph, show me what you got, man. Show me what you got. Uh oh, we got the lane. Oh, Bill Russell sent it. He sent it, bro. He really sent it back, and now he's got takeover. That man said, "You're not dunking on me again." It's gonna be a, a bit of a challenge dunking on that Bill Russell. Let's see if we can do it right here absolute oh he sold the dunk he sold the dunk okay okay bill russell how about this then i got blocked by bob Cousy. that was bob Cousy who blocked me i believe right no steph you're selling right now man you gotta pick it up come on bro this is not acceptable behavior you gotta do something it's all good man it's only the first quarter man he's, he's still gotta get warmed up he's gonna throw it down right there over larry Larry Bird, he just flew through the paint absolutely with no regards to human life. Oh my gosh, bro. All right, Steph, get the ball and just push it. Dunk on Bill Russell, redeem yourself. Wow, okay, and you decided to take a layup and sold. Right past Bob Cousy. Oh, oh okay, they're double teaming me. Hold on, hold on. Send it back to Steph. We need to get you open. Five seconds left on the clock. Oh yeah, right past him. Easy cradle dunk cradle he's doing the jordan-esque dunks right now yo yo i knew it was a good idea to throw that dunk package on him man i knew it was good rebound steph you know we're pushing it all the way you know it you know it ah! bro bro i can't i can't bro are you seeing this right now did you see what this man just did? We're talking about Steph Curry, the greatest shooter of all time, doing dunks like this. He did a windmill. Bro. Look at this. Over Bob Cousy and John Havlicek. Look at that. That might be a screenshot for the ages right there, bro. Hold on, zoom in on that. Look at this. Look. Poster. He's a poster. He is a officially a poster. Bruh, I'm screenshotting that moment. I'm screenshotting that moment. GG, bruh. You know, what doesn't make sense to me is the fact that all my players have takeover besides Steph, and he's the only one I've been scoring with. But, I mean, I guess we're about to get takeover as soon as we... And one! As soon as we start to go crazy with him, he finishes at the rim with the nice layup. I think Bill Russell was the one who fouled him, so I guess that was in retaliation for that block he had on us earlier. All right, we got two seconds left on the clock, end of the first quarter. Steph is known for shooting. We're going to try it right here and see if he can knock it down at the buzzer. Oh, couldn't knock it down. 44% covered. All right, start of the second quarter. We're up five points, and you know we're already attacking the basket with Steph. Okay, I sold the layup. They put me in the layup animation, and then I just completely sold it by getting it a wide right. Um, So we're going to try that again on this next possession. Give him the ball. Run past Bob Cousy because he can't guard you. Get a layup. Okay, you see, I wanted a dunk, but I'll take the layup and one for now. And we're obviously going to knock down the free throw with the 99 free throw and the great free throw animation that he has. Good rebound, Steph. He's playing great defense in the paint over there. That rim protector Hall of Fame kicking in. And he's going to take a layup up. Man, bro. Dave Cowens forced us into a layup animation there. That's kind of annoying because he wanted to go for the dunk. He gets the rebound right here. We're going to push it again. We're throwing it on Bill Russell. 
Get out the way. All right, Steph finally has his takeover, which is sharp. We haven't shot many threes with him. I feel like I should pull one. Let's try to pull one, man. Let's get open on a shot. Call for a screen or something. Have him sag off. Bro, come on. Give me a better screen than that, Marquise Chris. Like, what's up with you, bro? Here he is. Oh, I, I slightly left. I sold on that. All right, we're going to try this again to make a three right here with him. Because I, I kind of want to knock one down. So, send me that screen, Marquise Chris. Okay, we need, we're need. we going to need a better screen than that. I need to get open on the screen. Is that the opening we need? Wide open? All right, bro. How is it that I'm not making a three with this guy? Oh, give me that. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Knock that one down. There we go. That's the three we wanted. I mean, we expect that from Steph, though. Nothing else. You know what I would like to do is I would like to throw some alley-oops to Steph if I can have an opportunity to do that. And he does a, a nice little reverse windmill. Oof. Wow, bro. I got to throw some alley-oops to him, though. I got to get him on a, on a drive to the basket one of these times. Maybe throw it up with Draymond or Clay or someone. And then just have him finish off an alley-oop because we haven't seen that or we, we should do a self alley-oop i would like to do that if we get a fast break definitely do a self alley-oop he does another one yo steph doing these dunks it is just crazy to see that like if he was doing dunks like this in real life if he was actually this good bro the warriors literally would never lose and i mean they're already as good as good as they are with him just being a shooter and like the great player that he is right now in real life but imagine if he was doing dunks like this, like these Westbrook D Rose type dunks. Like it would be GG, bro. Like nobody would stand a chance. Look at that. He's on the floor. Crawling, look at him on the floor. Instant replay. Instant replay. Who is that, Dave Cowens? Dave Cowens got a windmill on him. Bro. Ah, that is just that is just ridiculous, bro. This is just absolutely ridiculous, bro. I got to I got to take a screenshot of this moment too. I got to take a screenshot of this moment. This is just crazy. Bro, this man was on the floor. Look at him. Look at Dave Cowens on the floor. Can't even get up. Slamming the floor and all that. Yeah, he's upset. I would be upset too if I just got dunked on like that. Oh, good steal, Clay. Steph, can he throw the self oop? Ah, he threw the self alley oop. I finally got the opportunity to do so. And I capitalized on it. Thank you, Clay, for the steal leading towards that. We've got team takeover right here. This is just crazy. Like, this is. We're only up by 10, though. But, I mean, Steph, he's got 31, and he's just going crazy with the dunks. Like, I've never seen this. Second quarter is about to be wrapped up pretty soon. Ooh, good layup. I, that's that Steph Curry layup. That's literally why I left the, uh, the layup package the same way, because I knew he had a good layup package as it was. Ooh, they're calling me for fouls. I got three fouls with him. I got to be careful. All right, man. So, we're just going to run out the clock for the rest of the half. And we're going to try to get a crazy dunk to go into the uh, the third quarter right here at the end of the second. Let's see. Four, three, two, one. Okay, he just did a basic two-hander. But, I mean, that's fine. That works. All right, here we are in the third quarter now. Just a little, like, a minute has passed. Oh, okay. I did not mean to shoot the, the jumper. I greened it, though. I wanted to attack the basket, but you know how 2K is. Sometimes you try to go for a dunk or a layup and they make you take a jumper. That's what happened right there. Great rebound, Steph. You know you want to we want you to push the ball all the way, all the way, all the way. Ooh, rising up. Rising up and throwing it down. Nice. Okay, let me see something else, man. Let me see another. Oh, crossover. We already know he could dribble. He's going to windmill it from the left side. Yo, I would really love to see this, like, imagine one day, you know, you live in the Bay Area, the Warriors are your favorite team, and you decide to go to a Warriors game one day to check out Steph play. They're playing against any regular team, I don't know, the Kings, for example, and all of a sudden you see Steph Curry doing windmills. What are you going to say, bro? What are you going to say? You're going to say, I got my money's worth today. 
because today I'm witnessing something that I would I would have never witnessed before. And that's what these fans are feeling like right now. I mean, look at all these fans in the arena. I mean, they're all just absolutely mesmerized, thinking that they got their money's worth, especially these people courtside. I mean, let's just take a look at any random guy here. My man's right here, bro. We're just gonna take a look at a random fan. I mean, this guy right here, he's not too, he's not too excited, I could tell. My man's right here with the Boston jersey. Look at that, you can already tell. Okay, it's, it's getting kind of blurry, but you can see him right there. Bro is not too happy about what's going on right here. Look at him, you can see the disappointment in his face. But my guy right here though, this guy, look at that. That's a, that's a, a face full of satisfaction and content. He's really happy with what he's seeing right, right now. He's like, man, I really got my money's worth. I'm here courtside at the Warriors game. Just look at Curry, man, so inspirational. Like that's what he's thinking right now in his head, I can tell. But let's get back to the game, bro. I know these guys are very excited to see what's transpiring right here. Steph with the layup, he couldn't finish it. He gets his own rebound though. Oh, and, I can't, and then I get stripped. Nice, 2K. All right, so surprisingly, I'm only up by six points. I guess it's just that I'm not playing too great defense, but I'm just completely outscoring them. I finished the layup right there with him. Not really looking to get these layups, uh, but I gotta play better defense if I wanna maintain the lead because I really am only up by eight points. So really, I would have expected to be up like double digits, which I was at some point, but you know, things just started to fall apart as I just don't play any defense. All right, Steph. Ooh, you got the three from way downtown. Steph Curry, the green three, bro. I mean, we, we expect that, bro, but I, I really didn't expect to green it because the greening is kind of hard, especially here on Hall of Fame difficulty. Oh yeah, good rebound. Good rebound, Draymond, or no, Andrew Wiggins. I'm, I'm gonna pull another three now. Steph Curry, go in. Wow, sold, bro. Come on, that was wide open, man. We do get the ball back, however. I'm gonna try to oop it to Steph. How about that? With Draymond, and he catches it. Lob City finisher Hall of Fame, man. Imagine you go into a Warriors game and you're seeing Steph finish put back, or not put back, but alley-oop dunks off the inbound. I would like to see him do a putback dunk too, but someone else would have to shoot and then Steph would have to crash the board for the rebound, which is not something that's like gonna occur on a uh, consistent basis. So it's gonna be very rare to try to trigger that. So I don't think there's much need in, or much point in trying to, and I missed a layup right there. Here we are in the fourth quarter, only up by eight points. Paul Pierce just gunned a three. I have no faith. I mean, I have no um, worry that I'm going to lose. Man, I couldn't knock that down. I have no, like, I'm not worrying at all about losing this game, man, to be honest. I think I'm going to be okay. Uh, we just got to get some more dunks in, and that's what we're going to try to do here, here in the fourth quarter. Maybe maybe take a couple threes. Haven't been shooting too many, so I don't know. I might, but I really just want to see what, uh, what, what other dunks I can do. Come on, Steph. All the way. Dunk on Bill Russell. And I get my stuff sent. You know, I was thinking about pulling up for the three right there, and I feel like I should have done it now. Now I'm regretting actually going for that layup or the dunk because sometimes he's just not going to dunk over him, especially a guy like Bill Russell. Oh, good steal, Andrew Wiggins. Steph Curry's on his own. Come on. Oh, the way he caught the ball was so bad. He couldn't catch the ball right, but I still made the, the green layup at the other end. But man, bruh, I was, I was trying to throw it up to him off the backboard to myself, you know? But the way he caught the ball allowed for the defense to catch up to him, which was unfortunate. No. Sam Jones just greened a three. That's all they've been doing all game is just greening threes. All right, man. I need you to come through for me, Steph. Finish it right here. Okay, they, they called a foul. I need that. I'm only up by seven, three minutes left. I need these free throws. There's no chance he misses these. He's the greatest free throw shooter of all time. And I say that literally because he actually is. I, I think Steph has the highest free throw percentage in NBA history. If not, he's like number two, but I'm pretty sure he's number one. Um, I know Steve Nash is up there. Obviously, Steph. And I don't know who, exactly who else. But we do have a fast break right here. Can you throw it on Ray Allen? It won! I thought he was going to dunk on him. I'll take the layup, though. And that puts us up 11, 12 points after the free throw. Let's go, man. This this is looking like a GG. All right. Let's go crazy right here. We got the takeover again with Steph. Go right past Bob Cousy. Dunk it on Bill Russell again. The two-hand slam over Bill Russell once again. No, please... He makes the three to cut the lead to seven with a minute 40 left. Okay. I mean, I'm not worried because we're about to throw it down right there. Flying through. That's what we like to see. We're both, both of our teams are shooting 62% here. 
here in the second half no wonder it's not too far off of a game right so i mean i just got to play better defense really we're just leaving him open he misses it steph curry gets the board push it all the way i still want to try to dunk over bill russell we're gonna try doing it right now and it works bro he does the two-hander over bill that's what i like to see steph curry got 67 points literally all of the warriors points are from steph hope they don't foul me no they're not fouling me they know it's gg all right well that is the end of the game man we're gonna try to hit three at the buzzer four three two one green light green light to end off the game man let's take a look at the box score here we are steph curry 72 points eight rebounds one steal one block 32 for 55 from the field three for nine from three and five for five from the free throw line he had 19 dunks imagine steph curry playing a game where he dunks the ball 19 times but he barely he doesn't even dunk the ball one time per game like barely ever that's crazy to see that wow it was a, it was a very very interesting interesting game here very fun um i hope you guys did enjoy the video as much as i did if you did enjoy the video man and you want to see more like this and more content in, gen in general make sure to hit that like button make sure to subscribe man for more and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out